In today's video, we'll take a look at a teenager who thought he could hide a gun in his pants. He said, come on the sidewalk! I'm on the sidewalk! I'm, I'm not going nowhere! Because this just came mean. out of his pants, okay? A group of teenagers who turn into crying babies when they have to deal with the consequences of their actions. Why is you arresting me for what? And a girlfriend that manages to talk herself into some charges. Dude, you feel good? You feel good grabbing? I'm okay, I'm not, not sorry, sir. But first, let's look at a girl who completely faked her identity to try to get out of a ticket. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi. So I'm Deputy Gank, the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is your passenger doesn't have her seatbelt on. Yeah, so that's why. Um, but if everything's cool, I'll just write you a warning and I'll get you on your way. Yeah. You have your driver's license on you? Uh, no, I don't have it. Can you lift my name up? Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. Uh, here, do me a favor. When the light goes green, let's go ahead and pull off here so we don't get into an accident or anything, so we're all safe. All right. And I'll follow behind you and we'll do it with it there. On January 1st, 2022, an officer in Florida initiated a traffic stop when he observed a car drive by with a passenger not wearing their seatbelt. It should have been routine, and as you saw, he even offered to only write up a warning. Unfortunately, things wouldn't go that way. Oh, I'm getting the warning? Like, yeah, you didn't have your okay. seatbelt on, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, you have your driver's license on? I don't have it because I'm from Michigan. I'm visiting. Alrighty, you have a picture of it? No, I think I have like my name and stuff. Oh, okay. Alrighty. You guys have medical marijuana cards? Mm -hmm. Okay. It smells like weed in here. Do people smoke weed in this car? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Okay. All right. Um, so what's your first name? My name is Rosa Nixon. Is that R-O-S-A? Yes. What's your birthday, Rosa? September 9th, 2001. All righty. And you're from where? Michigan. What brings you down here? My mom lives here. Okay. All righty. Whose car is this? This is my mom's. Oh, okay. mom's All right. Yeah. yeah. So is it just weed in the car, or if it's just weed, I'll, I'll just take it for destruction? No, it, we don't have any other. So who smokes in the car? Like... I, listen, so like, I don't care about weed. If there's weed in the car, I literally will take it and put it into evidence for destruction and no one gets in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so like I... We, like, we, it's been smoked in before, but we don't, we don't yeah. have any of We were well, actually I, going to the hospital for a COVID test. Okay, all right. So when was the last time weed was in here? Like, like yesterday, probably. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people have brought up the fact that this is one of the most chill officers ever, first offering to only write a warning and then saying that he wouldn't even write them up for having weed in the car. Unfortunately, as you will see, these two girls didn't exactly cooperate with this kindness. It's not in your purse, there's nothing in this car, nothing no. like that. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't drink my first promise. It would be okay if I took a look real quick? Is it okay to hang on to My part? Yeah, just hang on. Okay. So that's why it smells like weed? My purse does. Yeah, because I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. See it down there? Oh. Oh, then that's just a little bit. I'm sorry, I didn't even know that was in there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hang out a second. All right. All right. What is this? Is this the stuff? Oh, I'll be able to pull it up. I should be able to do that. Okay, so it's just a little bit, yeah, like I said, you're cool with me, no big deal. It. I'll take it, and then I'll just have you sign a receipt as the owner of it, and then I have to take it and put it in for destruction. I'm a driver, so I don't know. She's old. She has the license, but she, she, she was driving it. 99th? How old are you? You're over 21, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's so just she's fine, then. Yeah, she so just right. she'll have to drive, right? Well, no, you're, you're permit? fine. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. You're how fine. old are you? I'm how does she hear? I'm 22. Okay, and you're how old? I'm 20. Okay. The police officer just asked her if she was older than 21, and she said yes. But when she was asked her age, she said that she was 20. So the officer already knows that she's a liar, and because of that, he knows that he'll have to look pretty hard into her identity to make sure it checks out. I was just saying because I'm a permit Okay, all right. So I'm going to just bring someone else because it smelled like weed and I see weed. So okay. it hasn't in trouble or anything like that. I'm just going to take a look through the car in a minute. Okay. It gave me, gives me probable cause to search the car. Again, you guys aren't in trouble. Okay. If it's just weed and you know, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Ready? So in the most relaxed, you know what I mean? You know, it can be stressful, but I'll give you a warning, right? 
and then you're not getting in trouble for that. Okay? Just give me a sec. 325 Central. 325. Hey, you send me another, please. I, I do ask, like, what is I it? I didn't know my bag was in there. Okay. Nice time. I'll hang on to the bag. Can I go to the Central Warrior? Tell me in the import shop, Bullseye, Strong Statement. Is that it? That's, that's all that's in the car, right? <laughs> that's what we thought. Yeah, I really forgot I had that. Fans. No one any surprises or anything. I don't want no more yeah, either. Is. I mean, is everybody in the yeah. That's all of that. It should be noted that the driver is now on the phone with somebody, which is kind of disrespectful to do during a traffic stop. Despite this, the officer has still been very polite with the both of them, even though they forgot that they had weed on them. Both of them. Do you have a license mm -hmm. at all? They're saying they can't find you. Oh, I just have like a permit. What do you mean? Well, because like in Michigan, that's... Yeah, stand by. I don't actually, like, because I took like, in Michigan, it's different. It's not different in Michigan. Every U.S. state gives out a driver's license between the ages of 16 and 18. And because she's 20, she should have a full license by this point. The only case where she wouldn't would be if she got a permit before she turned 18 and then for some reason didn't upgrade to a full license. Who owns the car? My mom. She was just taking me to go get a COVID test. Okay. You got to come back somehow. You're 20 years old, you know what I mean? Hey, but we're running it out of Michigan and there's no record of that name and date of birth out of Michigan. Does she have a driver's license for you? No, no, not for me, but... Do you have a valid driver's license? No. No, you don't? No. Okay. She doesn't have a DL, she's telling me. So this is going to be no DL ever issued then. And the truth comes out. She was driving without a license. And if she'd just said that when the cop initially pulled her over, he likely would have issued a ticket and they could have switched places with the friend driving them. Unfortunately, she didn't make it easy for them. Did you ever go through the driving test or like, get a license or anything? The, I did like some of the written tests. That's why I, they told me I have one. So you were never issued a actual learner's permit and you were never issued a actual driver's license, correct? So you have no form of any sort of driving, right? So you shouldn't be driving at all. Okay. And there's no other drug, just pulled the weed and told me, no, no, nothing, just, just some weed, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That we can work with. A little bit of weed, a little bit of weed. All right. So don't be, don't be nervous about the weed. As long as there's no meth or anything bad like that in the car. Why didn't you ever get a driver's license? I was really, because like in Detroit, it was, it's like different. They sent me something in the like letter, in the mail saying I had like a permit. But they never sent you a permit? That doesn't make any sense. They, said, sense. they sent you a letter saying said, you have a permit, but then they didn't send a permit with it. Okay. So I gotta identify you somehow. Nothing even proven that what you're saying is who you are. You know what I mean? So in order to make sure you don't go to jail, because I can't tell who you are, I got to figure out who you are somehow that comes back. We got to make sure you don't got some warrant for some crazy crime in Detroit or wherever, right? You're just giving us some some random name because nothing nothing's coming back on you. Even if, even if you were issued a permit, there should still be some kind of a... That's my idea. That's my idea. Why are you lie to me? Uh, You're who you are. Why'd you lie to me? What's going on? You can't lie about this. You just lied about everything and it's recorded. The date you wrote me, I didn't write it wrong. You said September, right? I got it written down, actually. I'm gonna go bring it up. It turns out the officer found the ID in her car and it disproves everything she was telling him. She knew that she would get in trouble for driving without a license and hoped that they wouldn't get any results and would just magically let her go. Unfortunately for her, that's not how the law works. Now it's time to be honest, because now I'm not in a good mood. Okay, that's my little sister. She actually has a and I don't have a license at all. Okay, so you lied to me in order to try and show that you have a permit. Yeah. You don't have a license at all. This is who she actually is, and she lied about her middle name. What's the picture that you sent me? The picture that you sent me is your little sister. This is you. Yeah, she lied to us. 
I don't have a license. I haven't seen the mines. I don't know if your mom's still on the phone or not. What do you think? Yeah. Hello? Is that? This is who she actually is. So she provided me with Run, September 9th, 2001, Run. and the fake middle names. Is there a number on that? Run her by that number just for dispatch. I don't have any license. 325 Central. Can you copy uh, Charlene's actual name that we found? Yes. Run her the lie goes even further than just the initial one. You saw how she showed the officer a picture of her ID. It turns out her mom sent her that picture during the altercation to try to get her out of the situation. I'm sorry, uh... Come on. Let me have your phone. I want you to drop it. I know, I'm so sorry, I won't do it again. You were being cool the whole time. I, no. I, about the weed. I didn't chill. know. I told you right off the rip, just be chill. I know, I, I'm sorry, I was gonna tell you. I'm so please, please, I'm begging you. Oh my god. Can I talk to you, Sergeant? I'm thinking I talk to him just to talk to him. Mm -hmm. uh, I, here. I swear I won't do this anymore. Unfortunately, there isn't any information online about Charlene's charges or how things eventually went down. What's guaranteed, however, is that if she'd just been honest, she would have had a much easier time. This next case is quite similar in that regard, but as you'll see, it's much more extreme. Hey. Hey. I don't have to hang up the phone. Hey, Hammy, listen, you're being stopped for your speed. Give me your driver's license and registration. You're going 75 in a 55. Give me your license and registration. Stop opening my vehicle. Stop. 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 Give me your driver's license and registration. I'm going to give you one more chance. Cody, give me a channel. Give me one more chance. I don't have my license on me, officer. All right. Step out of the car. Uh, stop, stop okay. unbuckling my... Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Get out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Bro, what the... What the f*** are you doing, bro? Get in the car. You don't have the right to stay. On March 20th, 2022, an officer observed a white SUV traveling at a high rate of speed and swerving between vehicles. Before the events of this footage, they attempted to stop the vehicle, but the driver made a quick turn and kept going in an attempt to evade police. You don't have the right to do this, bro. I got it. You don't have the right to do this, bro. Stop. 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 You don't have the right to do this, bro. Stop. 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 You're hurting me. Stop. 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 What are you doing? Get off me. What are you doing? You guys cannot do this. Yes, yes we on. can. No, you cannot. Hey, stop. Bro, oh. it's a speeding. Okay. I'm sorry. For, bro, bro, it's not even that. Leah gets the car. Stop. We're trying to talk to you. Okay, you, you can talk to me in my Relax. vehicle. Relax. Yeah. No. Relax. Two to player. Hey, we my phone's right there on the floor. FHP's with me. 10 I got one. Clear channel. Get off me, bro. You guys are cuffing me too tight, bro. Well, did you see what you did? You were, you pulled me on my car for no given reason, bro. I said, hold oh, on. Oh, no, hang up the phone. What this guy needs to understand is that when an officer initiates a traffic stop, he can't just delay being talked to because he's on the phone with somebody. The officers already had enough to just arrest him on the spot, which is what they did, likely to teach him exactly that lesson. I don't care. Bro, what you're do doing... Hey, you're recording this shit. Shit. I'm in the middle of something. No, no. you're in the middle of my hey. fucking hey. bullshit, bro. Gosh, can you get her to secure her right now? Bro. Stop. Come How here. old are you? Don't worry about it. I need to worry about it. How old are you? Don't worry about it. Haley! Don't worry Lift about it. Lift your leg up one more time. Stop. Watch your groin. Yeah, I got it. How old are you? I'm not going to hurt you. How old are you? Don't worry we don't want to hurt you either. 
Don't worry about it. We're going to relax if you relax, you understand? Okay, I'm relaxed. Okay. Can you please loosen the cuffs? I won't move. I will loosen the cuffs if you relax. I won't move. Okay. Okay, I'm relaxed. I promise Chill. you. Chill. I promise you. I need you. to sit, sit your butt right here on the edge. Whatever you need. Talk to me. I can't. 1835, I got a couple 49 units. What are we doing here? Down. May I turn around? No, those are staying on until we Can figure this out. The, I'm telling you, officer. Yes. All right. They're extremely fucking sit tight. tight. Sit tight for one second. Where is your driver's here. license? You, you have one? I run off or something. You're good, I bro. do. Chill. Where's your license? It's not on you. Okay. I'll get it. You got a notepad? I got, I got a notepad. How old are you, pal? Please. How old are you? Can you, can you please let me talk to my uncle before I leave? Let me just no, not yes. right now. Work with us, we'll work with you. How old are you? How old are you? Why can't I talk to my uncle? He doesn't want to identify himself because he's likely underage, and he wanted to talk to his uncle because he was hoping he could figure out a way out of it for him. Unfortunately for him, even though he's not 21, he is still an adult and can handle his own problems. Because he's not here and we stop the car that you're driving, that's not how it works. We're talking to you. Listen, if you talk to us because we have to do our job, if we need to get your uncle, we will call your uncle. But right now, you're with us. You're not. It has nothing to do with them. Okay? Yes. What is your first name? So if you go to jail and you get booked in as a John Doe, you'll get you won't get out until they ID you. I'll give you my name if my if my uncle is okay. I need to talk to my uncle before listen, I make any decisions. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Can you put my sleeve down, please? Yeah. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. The intent is never to take you to jail, buddy. Okay. We pulled you over for speeding. You didn't stop, and then you tried to drive away a little bit. Okay. No, I wasn't listen, trying to drive. I was out, trying to pull off the road. So we're not in the middle of the road. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I understand there's a lot of issues going on back and forth with law enforcement right now, and a lot of people think that we're acting out and we're doing stuff we're not supposed to do. Okay? You can't roll the window up on us like that. Can't roll the window up, uh, and you have to listen. Halfway down. You have to listen to us when we're on a traffic stop. Okay, when we conduct a traffic stop, you are lawfully detained. You get with him for a second. Yep. Do you have an ID card? Do you have a learner's permit? Um, do you have anything? No. How old are you? I'm 17. Years You're 17. Old. Yes. Okay. I have but, an ID. I have okay. a school ID. Okay, that's fine. Could that's I, fine. Yeah. Give me. Could I grab my bag and? Give me just a second, okay? The girl told the officers where all of her belongings were, as well as offered the only form of ID she had, which is exactly what she should have done. As the passenger, she won't get in any trouble, aside from maybe the fact that she didn't stay far enough away during the initial situation of him being pulled out of the car. Hello? Hello there, is this... Yes, it is. Hey, this is Deputy Quinn of Flower County Sheriff's Office. I apologize for the delay. That's quite all right. Um, so what? Where can where can I start for you? What 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 do you got? What kind of questions? Well, I know. I, I guess I guess he was speeding. I don't understand how it went from getting a speeding ticket and it escalated into him being taken in custody. I greatly apologize for that. That's not the way he was raised. No, like and that. like you know, I've always told him, look, the police tells you to stand on your head, you say where. <laughs> The teen was arrested and taken into custody, but because his name wasn't given out, there isn't very much information about him online. At the very least, we hear his uncle condemn his actions, rather than the modern trend of screaming at the police even when they're in the right. In this next case, however, there is absolutely no respect for the police, even from the beginning. Just one? One there. Wait, two. There's a third one here. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to those people over there. Yeah. Did you guys hear anything? Did you guys hear anything? Walk. Sound like gunshots? Walk, 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 walk. Are you gonna talk? Hit, 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 hit. Get off my block. It's not your block. Get off my block. I, I think it, they're, they have to do something with it. Went over there, they're like, get off my block, this is our block. On August 26, 2023, Florida officers responded to a call from an apartment complex regarding gunshots being fired. Upon their arrival, they began finding bullet casings on the ground and went to ask a nearby group of teenagers if they'd seen anything. Yeah, my shit. Your Make your shit. Take that shit off. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Take that shit off. What are you going to do about it? Take that shit off. What are you going to do about it? Are you threatening us right now? Take that shit off. Are you threatening us? Take the shit off. Are you threatening us? Palm Bay King Cap, you know the 28th? Outside. 
Oh, Alpha Zulu six one Papa Zulu go on a Chrysler. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all can Yeah, that's my man. Yep, that's my man. We're married. This behavior is not only unprofessional, but it's also kind of absurd. The officers already told them that they were in the area because there was a report of gunshots being fired. So if these people weren't the ones firing the gun, they should be welcoming help to find the person that could be endangering them. Instead, they're acting like this. What's your name is? Sergeant Valdez. Badge number, sir. 175. Stupid, I don't give a f What's your F.T.O. Mitchell. What's your uh, badge number? 135. Sorry, I don't give a f The officers are behaving very respectfully given the situation. There have been plenty of videos, including ones on this very channel, where officers have reacted very poorly to taunting like that. What's the reason? Well, What's the reason? I would suggest we're doing investigation. So back up. Move. Stop interfering with our investigation. I tell you to back up. Investigation what? We're investigating a coronavirus. Okay, cause of Coronavirus. Back up, sir. Cause of suffragation. Let me go look at your car. Let me go search your car. Let me go search your car. Cause of supervisor. Cause of supervisor. Let's go do that. Cause of supervisor. I am the supervisor. No, you're not. Come on, man. Come on, Mr. Five Foot Two Super. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Why are you so close? Why are you so close? Back up. You're not supposed to be on. Go inside. Resisting. Come on, resisting. Come on, back up. I would suggest you step back. For what? Step back. Crystal. For what? Put on the For what? This came for what? This came for what? Yeah, who talking to me? I can't even see. Yeah, I don't understand. That's right. This came for what? Detain for what? Anybody exactly. Can stop. Like my shit ain't exactly. even Bang, get the f on. Would've, would've, for what? Smoke my shit right in front of y'all. Oh, you ugly in the bed. Detain for what? Hey, 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 ugly in the bed. Interfering with our investigation. Right. Okay. The for what car? Hey. Hey. For what car? At this point, the officers do have the right to arrest almost everyone in this group for interfering with their investigation, but it would be logistically difficult. Based on their behavior, all of these people are flight risks, and if they arrested one or two, the rest would take off before more units could arrive. Because of this, they already called in additional units in case things escalated. We dealt with her once, I don't know what for. We definitely dealt with her before. Yeah, I, she was I, can't, I can't remember for what. Okay. The officers say they've dealt with a teen screaming in the background before, which is likely why she has such a sour opinion of the police in the area. All I want is our face, that's it. I ain't, I ain't no, want to too much. Right. That's it. You gotta keep back, man. Okay, yeah, you go, you go, you go, you go. Get out of my face. Appreciate it. Back. Move back. back. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. People are allowed to record police officers, but because of that, many members of the general public seem to have weaponized it. They walk directly up to the officers and record everything they're doing. And those same exact people are usually the ones who are horrified whenever they learn that they're also being recorded. Very hypocritical. Hey, I'm stepping back, but I ain't doing distance, shit, bro. Hey, why you touching me? Keep your distance, keep your distance. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. He ain't Keep your distance. Don't touch me, my bitch. Keep your distance. Don't touch me, For what? For what? Don't touch me. Stop touching me, bro. All that shit. All that shit. Give me the shit. For what? What's your bad number? No. No. Why you touching me, bro? Oh, oh, touching me, bro? Yeah, I got it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, don't grab me. No, no, I'm gonna grab her. Go. I'm relaxing my sister. You're not. She's she's no, for what? No, 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 I'm not letting my best friend go. I'm not letting her go. her go. No, I'm not letting her go, bro. Y'all got me fired Record it, bro. Baby, record it. No, baby, record it. No, baby, record it. Don't hurt her. Don't. You handle her. You handle her. I'm not. I'm not. It's insane how these people were acting so brazen and confident just a few moments ago, even making fun of the officers. And then when someone is arrested, several of them start breaking down and going crazy and begging for them to not take anybody. They need to learn that their behavior has consequences. Matt! Matt! Come outside, bro! Go back over there, dude. Don't touch me. Go back. You won't touch me. Get down the ground. Hey, do the phone, bro. Go to the phone. Go to the phone. Yo, bring it. Yo, yo, 
up here. Y'all touch him. Give me a phone. Why you... I don't need you in my face. I'm going to give you the phone, but don't get in my face, you. bro. Nah, dude. You're not arrested, bro. You're just being the thing, right? For what? I don't know yet. I'm going to figure it out. Bro. I need you now, bro. Apparently, they're not aware that these officers are all wearing body cameras. Either that or they somehow believe that their recording of what is happening will in some way spin it so they're the ones in the right. The general consensus surrounding this video is that many of these kids need to be taught a lesson about respect. I do s***. Why you arresting me for what? I just told you. For what? Exactly. You talking about I got the right to be close to y'all, and y'all having this claim, no type of disabled for what you getting detained for. Y'all never said what you getting detained for. Got a whole thing on video. These teens were taken into the station, but in order to protect their identities, the details and charges were never made public. Either way, they tried to act cool in front of the cops, and they paid the price for it. In this next case, however, well, they act the opposite of cool with the cops. Do you have your license with you? I do have my license. The reason we pulled you over is when you guys turned out, you made an improper right. Improper right? Yep. An improper right is when you basically make a right-hand turn. And you go and I know exactly. Just you, have a, you have a medical marijuana card? I don't have a medical marijuana card. No, I wasn't driving earlier. Also. She was just sitting I was maybe the sitting, but I wasn't. Driving. Well, she was sitting. Wait, why were you watching me? We, we drove by. We drove by? Yeah. But yeah, I was just sitting there. Yeah. Right, do you have an idea on you? No, I'm just a passenger. Okay, we'll step out because we smell, we both smell marijuana, so step out. On March 18th, 2023, Florida officers observed a four-door Toyota sedan with a very dark license plate make an improper right turn. The officers conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle, and unfortunately, the passengers aren't going to make it easy for them. Step out. Step out of the car. Yeah, step out of the car, I'm going to pull you out. Yeah, the car still only smell weed and you're trying to pull me out and do like okay, come on. extra stuff. Step out. You don't have, you're not, you don't have the right. Ma'am, step out of the car. No, I do have the right. Just come over here. Right by 7-Eleven. Ma'am, step you out of the you car. You're watching me over there. Don't touch me. Ma'am, I'm about to grab you. Don't step you, out of the don't car. Don't you dare touch me. Step out. Don't you dare touch me. Stop, 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 stop. So many of these people don't understand what a traffic stop is. During a traffic stop, police are allowed to give lawful orders that you have to follow. Not following those orders is, by definition, breaking the law. That absolutely gives him the right to pull her out of the car and to arrest her if it comes down to it. This literally because you came, all we did was come out here, came out the neighborhood, and they just slammed her on the ground. Yeah, What's your badge number? Hey, get back! What's your badge get number? Get back! You want to go to jail too? Right, get on the right, sidewalk. Right. Okay. Just stand okay. here. And he just put his hands on the ground. Get up. <laughs> hey, don't walk up that car. Got it. Hey. Okay. Just can you come chill out over here for me, man? Don't do I'm not. not gonna, put your I have no reason to touch you. Me, I'm putting my hands okay. On I have no reason. You. Stop walking away the then. Fuck up then. Walk Back over there. Walk no. over there. I'm not walking nowhere. I'm standing on the sidewalk like stand you just told here. me. Okay. You said go on the sidewalk. Why are you I'm on the sidewalk. Me? Why are you? Why are you telling me to do different stuff, you dumbass? Why are you You're a rookie. You said here. come on the sidewalk. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm, I'm not going here. nowhere. This kind of behavior isn't only unprofessional, but also just looks sort of foolish. The situation already resolved itself with the girl being arrested. All he has to do at this point to stay out of trouble is listen and stay away. But now he starts giving this sort of attitude. I'm, you I'm not going away. nowhere. I'm staying on the sidewalk. Hey, grab him. I'm staying Stop. on Stop. the sidewalk. Stop I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying Stop. on this. No, no. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm not moving. Stop. I'm staying on the sidewalk. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything, dude. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. 
I'm not doing okay. I will. I will stop. Bro, I wasn't stop. doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. Give us your hands. No. Dude. Oh. Your hands. Oh. Give us oh. your hands. Stop! Stop! Ow. Stop! Ow. Stop! Okay, stop reaching! You're about to break my neck. Okay, me. stop! Stop! Let I'm go of your hands! Let go of your hands! I let go of your hands! Oh no! He keeps claiming that he's doing nothing wrong, but the act of resisting arrest is itself a crime. If he truly believed he was doing nothing wrong, he should shut up, let them put the cuffs on, and then resolve the situation later. Instead, he's just catching infinitely more charges for something that would have been a simple ticket. Dude, I'm not doing nothing. Please stop. Please freaking stop. Please stop. Ah, ow, stop. Ow, stop. Ow, stop. Ow, stop. Ow, stop. Stop. Okay, ah, just let go. Ow, Give us ow, your arm. Ow. 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 I'm not doing nothing. Dude, just stop. Give us your hands. I've said it a hundred times. Oh, I don't have to. I'll do my own. Fuck. Oh my god. Ow! 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 Stop reaching your pocket. Oh! Oh! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Okay, oh, go over. I can't. Get out water, 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 water! Stop! Water! What these officers are doing isn't brutal and it isn't illegal. He's just blubbering and crying because he doesn't want to be arrested and thinks this might give him a chance at getting out of it. Sit up. Sit up. Bring your feet. Hold me out. <laughs> Can I have water, please? Yeah, hold on. Mr. Murphy, please. Murphy, there's nothing in my pockets, I swear to God. Ow, my arm, my arm, my arm. Ow. Mr. Ow, 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 stop. No, your arm, dude, my I'm arm. Dude, my you. elbow. Move your arm from like that, please. Dude, please move, just move your arm. You. Move your arm from under my elbow. Dude, why does it feel like that? I think my arm's broken. I was saying my arm is broken. He's got a, I think he's got a zero in his pants. Don't grab it! I won't. Do not! I got it. Stop, stop. Ow. Back up. Ow. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. No. Hey, I just pulled this out of his ass, okay? What? Yes, so get back. Mom, I did not have that on me. No. Ma'am, step back. He, this just came breathe. out of his pants, okay? So step back. I just oh, step you step back. I am over here, but you don't have to handle him like that. You do not. That's my Back up, or you'll get cuffed too. Oh. Mom, it literally. Mom, I did nothing. Ow! Calm down. Get my wallet. No. Stay back. Can you hear me? back. Oh. No, no, no. You can wait back there. We'll deal with it in a second. I don't. I don't know. They said they got a gun off of him. I really don't know. It was in his pants. No, no. Pull my pants up. I don't have nothing in my stuff. Like I need my shoes. Mom, my phone. Ow. Why is he going to jail? Because he resisted and he's Burr. in possession of a concealed firearm. I did not resist. They slammed me on the ground for going on the sidewalk. Hey. Mom, they said hey. going on the sidewalk. I went hey. to the sidewalk and they slammed me. Ah. It's almost laughable that he's claiming that he wasn't resisting. He sat there for almost two minutes with his arms clenched as tight as he could make them so the officers couldn't get the cuffs on him. Also, having a concealed firearm is still a serious crime in Florida. Hey, Mom! They told me go in the cell phone where the fuck and they slammed me on the... Relax, Mom! This dude was punching me in my head. Relax, he punched me in my back three relax. times. He punched me in my neck. Relax, dude. Take a breath. Take a breath. Just calm down. Right here, okay? Just let down. 
Let them do their job. Take a breath. Put your key in the car. Put your key in the car. I don't mind. I don't do that. Look at the day if you need this. Oh, my God. Bro, excuse me. Can you loosen these cuffs up a little bit, please? So where was he even coming from? I don't know, ma'am. I showed up after the struggle between so the two officers. the officer that pulled him over? Which officer pulled him over? That's the officer I wanted to speak to. Okay. How old is your son? He just turned 18. Okay, then we have under no obligation to tell you anything. Okay, just so you know. Be I easy. Okay. That, so what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to, as the supervisor, what I'm going to tell as you. A parent. Okay, as a supervisor. And I know you're a parent. I'm I am. Shopping. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But what I'm going to tell you, these officers conducted a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your son resisted. When I showed up, he was on the ground handcuffed. I am the officer that pulled this out of your son's underwear. Okay. That's not a commonplace. I'm sure he's not licensed to carry this. So that's that's a jail it's sentence it's right it's there. Not a you don't have to be like yes, you do. Here. To conceal it, oh. you do, ma'am. Yes, absolutely. And that's well, not it's not it. holstered. It, I don't carry my firearm in my underwear, okay, clinched between my butt cheeks. That's exactly where it was, and that's what my report's going to say. There is a very big difference between open carry and concealed carry. Open carry is legal in Florida without a permit. Concealed carry requires a permit. And I was literally doing everything they said. They said go on the sidewalk. I went on the sidewalk. They started like walking up on me. I said, I'm on the phone. Can you please not grab me? And then he kept walking up on me. I was listening, I listened to everything they said. Everything they said. I wasn't there, brother. Yeah, wait, is do they have the body cam footage though, right? Oh yeah, dude. I I my dude. Oh my gosh. Can you please loosen it? Can I call my mom? What's going on? Can I call her? Can you please She slipped out it? of her car. It's breaking my like, <laughs> It's breaking scoot up, my scoot, scoot this way. Scoot this way. Please. Here, step out and turn around. They're gonna, they go behind you. Okay? okay, but can you not tell you? It won't be tight. I, I, won't, I won't. It won't. All right, I'll fix it. I'll fix it for you. I'm going to I'm gonna fix this one before I adjust this one, okay? How old are you? I just turned 18. Okay, yeah, you you can call her. We'll let you call her. Yeah. All right, have you been chewing patted down? You good on another? Um, I did a quick pat down. Call on you? No, go for it. Both teens were arrested and taken in, but because their names were private, there's not any available information on their charges or cases. The girl was likely let off with a far easier sentence, considering she wasn't the one carrying a concealed firearm. In this next case, however, you'll see a girl that is so unbelievably ridiculous that everyone wishes she got a harsher sentence. Where are you going? You better sit in front of your car? Oh, yeah. Okay, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. We're gonna have the fire department come in and check you out, okay? I'm, I'm good, okay? Well, it's okay, I'm, you don't have to go to, you don't have to yeah, go to them, but they're gonna at least check you out and make sure it's okay. Well, Do you I'm know the people that y'all fought? No, I don't. I don't. They were just, they, they started screaming at me at, at, at the drive through Okay. The driver's you don't have any weapons on you, right? Driver. Yeah, leave your hand. Yeah, okay. just, just feel free, yeah, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Who? The person that y'all were fighting? And y'all don't know him, right? No. I know the girl, that's it, but... Hey, what's up, man? Shut the car off for me? Yeah, I got it. Let me see the keys. What's going on, man? I just got jumped. All right, do, do, me, the causeway. do me a favor, hop out for me right now, all right? On July 28, 2022, Florida officers responded to calls about several males fighting in a McDonald's drive through When the officers arrived, they had fled, but they were located a short distance away. Sir, I don't think you can open this. Yeah, I can. Step out of the car. What's your pop? What's your clause? Because it's for my safety. Step out of the car. Here's my safety, yes. You know Step what? My safety is, I just got jumped, man. Okay. Well, then, if you just got jumped... Hold on. Do you have any weapons on you? Does it look like it? Why are you f***ing cuffing him? I'm like, not cuffing him. It looked him. like you Can were. You no, he is. You don't let me do my job. You're, you're cuffing him. Hold on, dog. What's okay, he's job? holding his hand. Because you you're, you're about to go into cuffs. No, stop talking. Stop right. talking. Come calm, man. But stop asking him questions. He's trying to work. Because we just went through some like really serious sh for okay. no reason. Then let us figure it out. If you were going, if you were going through serious stuff, then you would have stayed on scene. You would have called 911. You would have over the I top right because some guy just him. jumped him for no reason. All right, slide over here. Me? Yeah, you. So why do we get pulled over? Why do you get pulled over? Because you guys were always involved, right? I'm gonna get that car. Did you guys see it? Well, no, we didn't see it. You well, didn't at all? call in, right? You got called in? Well, yeah, that's why we're all here. I'm not here. It's really late. Huh? Late as shit. It was right now. I understand that. That's why there's people over there, too. So there's cops over there? Yes, there is. Okay, good. Literally. 
it was random and shit. We were in the driving lot and they literally just got out, got mad and started fist fighting. I couldn't even control it because they're all like the same height as him. How do you know? I went to middle school, like high school with them. Is it one of your exes or some no. shit? No. No shit. No. No. You said you were in the drive-thru? Yes, yeah, so I was in the drive-thru. Alright, you want to tell me exactly what happened? I started calling it on the scooters, so I took, you know, matters into my hand. When we were in the car, he came up, he swung at him, and then he got out of the car to protect himself. Got out, said, what's your problem? Boom, punch in the face, push to the ground, and then just started getting And then I was trying to say it up for myself, obviously, punch him back and chip, but it was 3v1. You just kind of scattered, they got out of there? Yeah, they, they, and then what, they you, you, dipped fast. They, okay. they, they left really fast. And then that's when you, what, what did you do next? I was going to go home, lay in bed, and... Throw some ice on it. Okay. Right now we're done with whatever fight happened. I was done before it started. Well, we're done. We're done with that portion of the investigation here. Um, while talking to you though, you're obviously getting some indicators that you may be impaired. You might have a little bit to drink. I definitely have not. You definitely have not. No. Okay. So, can I uh, perform some field spread exercises on you? Make sure you're safe to drive. Of course. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head at all. Okay. Up here. Up. Perfect. There is some criticism towards the officers for this, because a lot of the symptoms of being impaired also come with something like a head injury, which would be very likely if he was just jumped. Are sure you haven't had anything? Because you're under 21, so you can't even have a sip. I'm not a drinker. Okay, then what's that natty sitting in the back seat? It's not mine. Which is Okay. I mean, we're at the beach. She got it. Well, I can smell alcohol coming off of you. It's strange, right? Because I don't have any. Are you willing to perform some additional field spread exercises? It's like a walk and turn and one leg stand test? Sure. Left. Right. You have any questions for me at this point? No, I kind of just want to go home and shower and go to bed. Unfortunately, due to the indicators I've seen on this on your, your field sobriety exercises, I do believe you've been drinking tonight, and too too much to be dry, operating a motor vehicle on the roadway. Really? Okay, so I'm placing you on arrest at this time. So. Do you have a phone to call ride for yourself? Do you get home? Do you have a phone? Yes, obviously call have a phone. Ride? Well, it's not obvious. That's why it I is know. obvious. It's not okay. a job thing. You can just work on getting. Is your phone something. inside the car? I'll get your phone for you. Why are they cuffing the him? Is your phone inside the car? Obviously, it's inside the. No, it's not obvious. Why are you guys cuffing him? What did he do? No, no, don't be walking up on Excuse that, me, okay? bro. Don't fucking put your hands on me. All right, just stop. I'm calm. I know what you're doing. All right, well, you're, you're starting to escalate here. Repeatedly asking the same question isn't going to get her anywhere. She isn't family, and the officers have no obligation to tell her what he's being arrested for. I don't have a ride, so I need to go wherever he goes. Oh, that's not gonna Why? Where is it? Tell me where. You got I, don't, I don't have no. You got I don't have any ride. My parents, parents are sleeping. They're sleeping. Yep. All right. So wherever he goes, I'm gonna wait. So I'm wherever he him. wherever he goes, you're gonna wait. Yep. Unfortunately, you're gonna be waiting a little while. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll wait. I don't care. But unfortunately, we're not a taxi service. We're not gonna offer a ride down you guys there, right? Have before. So, I've been with y'all. Well, I don't know who you were with, but it's not gonna happen this time. So nope, he's going to the jail. That's where he's going. Where is it? Okay. What area? Where's it? Where's it at? Clearwater. You live right. In the area, I don't get why I can't just get a ride from. Because we're not a taxi service. I never said y'all were. Right. So what I'm saying we can do is we can get a phone number. We can try and get you I a can't rod. get any ride. Why? Their parents are sleeping. They work at 5 a.m. Okay, so well, it's only like 11 o'clock. Will they not answer the phone that way? They take his car here? home and talk to his parents. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do with his car? What are you going to do with his car? Admitted to me that you were drinking. No, I didn't admit. I said so if I was. All right. Well, even, even if not, I can smell on your breath, oh. and I'm pretty sure you told me all you had was an ID. Oh, so. Do you want to smell my breath? I can smell when we're over here talking. What are you going to do with this car? <clears throat> it's probably going to be impounded. What is that? It means it's going to be towed. Can you tell him? Can you tell him? Tell him what? That it's going to be towed? Well, I'm sure that's what he's telling him right now. So is there anyone I can call for you that no. way we get your ride? I'm going wherever he goes. Okay. Like I've explained. That's not the case. I'm not going to jail. I didn't say I was going to jail. Where he goes, can I talk to him before he goes? Mm, probably not. Through the window? Probably not. Why? I don't make the rules. You're not even going to tell his parents anything. We're right down the street. It's a fucking road away. He's in it. Well, so. It doesn't matter how old he is. Like, we're right fucking there. Go to his parents at least. Let him know he got drunk. 
It explicitly does matter how old he is. He is an adult. He can take care of himself and make his own choices, and the police don't have to inform other adults about his arrest. Sometimes they do in order to be nice, but considering her behavior, they probably aren't feeling very kind at the moment. Well, I know that that's a problem, and go to his f***ing parents. You got so f***ed up. We're literally a turn away. That's it. I get what you're all doing. You have to take him there, but like literally he's down the street with all his parents, so. He can make that phone call when he gets to the jail. I need to get my shoes and my phone, so. All right, hang out back here real quick. Hang out back here real quick. Hang out back here real quick. You do. Are you? Y'all are crazy. Do not pull away from me. I'm not pulling away from you, bro. You right I here. like that. You you're fine. Right here. You're, I like that. You're good. Y'all are psychos. He's down the street. You get that, right? You feel bold, don't you? You got a big You feel bold? He's down the street. Does that make the DUI any less? He's down the street. I get that you got to DUI, but whatever. He's Does it make it any street. less? Does it make it any less? Parents, Is he an adult? Mm. You're the people you see on the news. He's down the street. You stand up with pride. You're happy. I'm actually quite happy. Um, happy to be here. So happy, but like, so. that's sad. After a guy gets stuck, um, I think he's a fucking movie. That's you want to go get your property out of the car now? You're old as Shut the fuck up. Anyways. He's down the street. You don't want to go get Where is he going? Clearwater what? Clearwater what? Is your egg at us up? Clearwater what? Like, you actually have to go to his parents? Yeah, I have to okay. tell them. What, am I, what else am I going to do? I don't want to ride home. So, do you have your phone? Yeah, but I, my parents are sleeping. So I'm you can call your parents? Here. No. Most parents in this situation would want their children to call them even if they were asleep. It's very obvious that she's using that fact as a scapegoat to stick around and just annoy the officers further. So, Clearwater what? Well, clear water, what, what? Clearwater We're not jail. Where is it? It's, it's Pinellas it's County Jail. Pinellas it's off 49th jail. Street North in Clearwater. In Clearwater. Yes, okay. 142nd so Avenue. Pinellas County Jail. Yes. Boom. Great. Where are you going? Fine. Hey, right here. My fucking shoes. Don't grab me. Yeah. Dude, stand you feel good? Go stand over you there. feel good grabbing? Go stand over there. You feel good grabbing? Go stand over you there. You feel good grabbing? I need my fucking shoes. Okay. Well, you can stand over there. Hey, she, she can go if she does that again. Mm -hmm. That's the second warning. I can go where? I love seeing how you guys are so sh at your job because I do a dance move and because I want to get my shoes. I think it shows how much if I had some video, you get Everyone sees this. Yeah, you're being filmed right now. I don't have a video. I don't really give a f But like, you guys are getting mad because I'm dancing? No. You I'm are. Just, no. You just said if I'm done, I can go home. That's literally what he just f said. That's, That's not at all what he said. You're intoxicated. No one, this is me, bro. Does she have shoes in there? Yep. She's got some stuff, she can go get it. Okay. Good. Now I can get it. Here's your ID, grab your stuff and leave. I didn't drive. Aw. Oh, good. Guy's got big balls. Not him. He's drunk. That must suck. No more kids for you, boy. Where's this car going? Doesn't matter. It does fucking matter. Show your old ass up. I Doesn't matter to you. You don't need that information. Show your old ass up. You don't need that information. Ass. See ya. Um, have a good day. Have a good day. I'm being a cop being racist. Okay. Okay. My phone is in. Leave. How am I going to call? You already walked away. Leave. Can I find my phone? Yeah, find your phone. Do it now. <laughs> you got the flash. Okay, fine. ID. It has smiley face on it. I don't see a phone in there. Oh. <laughs> Okay, being a cop. I, I, like, listen, hey, I actually oh. thought about being a cop, but after meeting y'all, like, where the fuck are the women? It's probably a good thing you changed your where mind. Where are the women? Her behavior throughout the whole ordeal has been entirely ridiculous. The situation didn't even involve her, and yet she somehow made herself the center of it. What do you guys think I should say when I go to his house? She's 18, so she can't have those beers. Take them out, they're empty. Uh, Thank you, Daddy. You can keep those because they're empty. Good for you. It's literally a crime. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. Too late. Yep. No, I'll pick him up. You wanted to go to jail. Good job talking you know, yourself into things. Tried to get you to leave about 25 times, but you're smarter than us I and no better. I wanted to leave. You can take a 4.5 GPA and hang out at booking. Tell them all about it. They'll love to hear about it. Welcome to the real world. Everybody online shared a collective sigh of relief when this girl was arrested. Funnily enough, this next case has quite a few similar qualities, with talking too much being the main one. They're sisters. Y'all know how family stuff go. Okay, and that's fine. All right. I'm saying she's leaving. She's getting an Uber. So. 
So you're good with them as well? So if huh? we leave now, we're not going to get an argument or anything with that? No. Girl, don't bitch, don't play with me. You fuck wrong with you, girl. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's four. Girl, bitch, I don't care. I don't care. It don't matter about no going back and forth. She's grown as Okay. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Man, girl, I'm man, here. sir, don't Go tell me what here. I do. Don't tell me. Yes, don't I'm telling you what to do. Because right now sir, I'm telling you what to do. Sir, I'm not locked up and I'm not doing nothing illegal. Don't tell you me are what doing to do. Illegal. No, what I'm doing. You what are, I'm doing. You are being disorderly right exactly. now. On August 11th, 2021, officers in Georgia were called to a disturbance at an apartment complex at four in the morning. When they arrived, they found three women and a baby outside. They said there was nothing wrong, but clearly that isn't the case. Baby, I'm not being illegal. This, this same man that's coming. No, baby, no, I'm not. All right, well, let's stand by this car. Because you're not, you're not going to corrupt me to know these one car. Well, then sit down. No, they're going to stand right there. Sit down. I don't have to Come sit, sit down. right here. I don't have to sit down. This is my wife, baby. Down. This is my wife. Right. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, you it is. You cannot yell at four in the morning. Okay, baby. Okay, I don't have to raise it. Okay, I don't have to raise it four o'clock in the morning. Don't tell me what to do. I can tell you what to do. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. I'll call you out here, baby. You cannot tell me what to do. It does not matter that she was the one who called them out there, and they definitely have the power to tell her what to do. Practically every city in the country has a reasonable noise ordinance, and four in the morning is a quiet time in all of them. I can call right now. Hold on. Bring your voice down. I'm going to call Uncle Wise. Bring your voice right down. Maybe call because she wanted to tell me what you can Go do. for it. You can't do. Call whoever you want to call. You can't do nothing. You can't call do whoever nothing. you want to call. Okay, yes, but you cannot do nothing. Stop acting like you can do something to you. I can. not I can 100%. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, baby, you cannot. You cannot stop acting like you can do something to me because I'm not doing nothing to survive. Yeah, keep that. Keep that. And I will record. That's and I'm going to record. And I'm recording you. You need to relax. You... I don't need to record, baby, nothing. Because this is my oldest thing. That if they call pressing target, they was already drinking. I don't need to they're not, know. They're not pressing hey, targets. Okay, but look, but you keep telling me I need to relax. Relax off of what? Relax, because you can go to jail for disorderly conduct. Okay, disorderly conduct, but what am I doing? You're yelling at you're, four in the morning. It's four in the morning and you're it drunk. Yes, there, yes drunk. it does matter. Well, okay, wait, okay, call the test. Call the test right now. Do the blow test. Make me walk and do everything I don't else. Have to. It's because, okay, it's okay, you're it doesn't very, matter. It doesn't matter. You call, you call up on response. That doesn't matter. It does, and I'm recording this right now. It That's fine. Matter. It's recording okay. as well. It doesn't matter. You're no, acting very no, erratic. No, you have to stop talking for a second. Okay, she's, she's just trying to go to jail yeah, is what she's trying yeah, to do. Yeah, that's what yeah, she's that's trying to do. Not let her stress you out. I don't give a damn. I don't like, why are you talking to the officers? Like, they came out to save you. Oh, God. What are you okay, gonna do? I don't have no wild home, so with that being said, you can stop talking to me, you go do your job. The dichotomy here is quite jarring. Jumping from the two sisters who are chatting peacefully with the officers to the other one who is arguing and yelling at four in the morning. Alright, first of all, yeah. this is my job. I've okay, been yes, out but here. still, but I'm still baby. Okay. I'm baby, hey, baby, stop. it doesn't matter. Hey, it doesn't matter, in. baby. I just yeah. want to avoid any conflict or anything. So I'm telling you this, that now, and right. I got you on recording. That's so cool. if, if if you need to do your job, do anything else. Hey. Besides that, okay, then don't talk to me. Stop you. Do yelling. not talk to me. Do not talk Stop to me. Stop yelling. Do not talk to me because I'm not yelling. Do not talk to me. You are yelling. Do not and talk to me. And you're extremely intoxicated. No, I'm not. I'm not extremely no, intoxicated. Can you please call? Can you please call your somebody that's over you to come do me a line of a test to blow in my mouth and everything for that? Okay, it doesn't matter. I was with a full of group of women. It doesn't matter. They could have been drinking. So don't don't say that. But you I'm didn't smelling do, it on no, your No, you're not smelling it on my breath. Do a blow test. Do a blow test. And what, do a blow test. Okay, if you we cannot have, pass that blow test, sir, if you again, cannot pass it's that, disorderly conduct. It does, not, oh, it does not matter. I don't care if she's <laughs> drinking or not, but you're just going to sit out here and scream at us the whole time. We're just literally not giving... She's yeah. accomplished. Yeah. She's doing the opposite of getting things accomplished. She, girl, she don't. She just told him, "Sir, I'm not screaming." She's still <laughs> screaming. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We can pull back this camera. We can pull back this camera. So pull it back. Yeah, we can pull it back. Just while I'm looking pull it back. while we're on recording. Yeah, pull it so back. So with that being said, this is for my safety because nothing about about this camera that I'm screaming on or being so fully intoxicated. If you pull it back, you will see the camera. Anything worse, sir? Okay. Sir. All right, stop talking. Sir, okay. Stop no, talking. you can't tell me to stop talking. Okay. So here, here's the deal. And I ain't no here, no deal, no none of that, baby. Because keep away from me. Because you, because if you violate my rights, I'm gonna call my mama. I let you. I let okay, you call then your what mama. you then what you then? Because if you violate my rights, I'm gonna call my mama. 
Mm -hmm. And I got a right to call me a lawyer and everything. So what, so what you want to say? There's a lot wrong with what she just said. She only has the right to a lawyer after she is arrested, not before. Imagine if all someone had to do to stop the police from arresting them was ask to have their lawyer present first. Not a lot would get done. Right. She's about to take her out of jail. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this is my mama. He's talking to you. Yeah. Your daughter is about to go to jail for disorderly conduct. Okay, well, when she goes to jail, let her in. I ain't come to mind. Nobody's going to fuck out. I ain't got no mind money, so tell me what you're trying. You said it's wrong. Okay. All right. You had my money. Yeah, but you got to pay me back. I ain't got no money. Make sure you have my money. And this is my wife. Make sure you have my money. Make sure you have my money. All right. Okay, I'm walking off your premises. I'm walking off your premises. I, no, I'm going to jail for what? Yeah, for, jail, for disorderly conduct. Make sure you, at me. I, I'm not swinging at you. Make sure you make sure you have my phone. Make sure you have my phone. Make sure you have my phone. And I'm walking to the car. Man, I'm walking to your car. I'm walking to your car. I'm walking to your car. Don't set me up. Don't fucking set me up. Why won't you owe? You going to jail? This woman was thankfully finally arrested, so that maybe some of the neighbors in the area can get some sleep. Unfortunately, because her name wasn't made public, it's difficult to find information on her case. But with how she kicked the officer, she likely received some jail time. Teenagers don't often exhibit the best behaviors, especially when they're dealing with cops. It's always nice to see them taken down a level when they deserve it.